My name is Jonathan Murray. I'm one of the consultant nephrologists here at uh, South Tees Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust in Middlesbrough. We set about undertaking this study because we recognised there was an unmet need. And when I say we recognised, I mean me as a practising nephrologist, but also patients that I'm seeing in clinic. Because although a lot of patients that are coming to my clinic absolutely need to see me for clinical assessment and revision of their medication, for example, there's often occasions when patients are coming to clinic simply for routine um, assessments of their kidney function. Now this is necessary and justified, it's important that they have these tests done, but they themselves are otherwise well and they don't otherwise need to see me on that particular day. And for patients this is um, an inconvenience for them, they're having to wait around, they're having to travel to the hospital to get parked, um, when they themselves want to be doing other things with their time, they want to be spending time with family or they have employment commitments that they need to meet. And so in certain circumstances patients need their kidney function checking but they don't otherwise need to come to a clinic for those tests. We recognise that, that if we could have a facility that enabled patients who were otherwise well to self-check their own kidney function at home, then this would be beneficial both to patients and also to healthcare resources. On one of my um, regular visits to see Dr Murray, he, he, he mentioned he was quite excited about a new study about uh, self-testing at home. And if it came about, would I be uh, keen to, to, to be part of it? And, and I said, absolutely, I will be. I mean, it's, uh, for me, um, it's the least you could do to give back to someone who's, who's you know, to the NHS or whatever, to, to save in your life, basically. So I was happy to do it. What we had to do was we, we, had the, we were given the kit at home. We had to keep it plugged in. And it was a handheld device. Uh, and then we had to do the blood test at home, the capillary one. Um, and then we had to log down the results from the machine and then we would go into the clinic an hour or so later and do the same thing again to see if the, both the bloods matched, just to confirm that the readings you're getting at home on the self-tester were the same as the ones in the clinic, just to prove that it was a, a sustainable study really. So, so yeah, so that's what we did. And the same with the urine, well the dip IO kit consisted of um, three things. It was the cup, the dipstick, and the colour board. So you did your sample in the cup, obviously. You dip the dipstick in the, in the urine, and then you put it on the colour board, and then you scanned it with the iPhone, took the photo, and from there the results automatically went straight to the, to the hospital. It was, a, it was a brilliant study. It was simple to do, but it, had, it has potential to have great benefits for both clinic and both home patients, so a great idea. Well, we had uh, in our study group um, a patient advisor, David, who um, had a background in working in pharmaceuticals, so he was familiar with, with, with some of the processes that we were looking at, and he had a, a passion and an interest to move this forwards, and so we were very keen to incorporate him from the outset in terms of talking about what he understood from his perspective as a kidney transplant recipient, but also about what he understood about uh, devices and, 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 and healthcare um, processes. And so he was instrumental in terms of setting up the study design along with our other partners and stakeholders. Having to use the devices that we were using, there's, al there's always a, um, a desire to understand how they work, but also, also a slight nervousness in terms of um, the fact you've got to take blood and you've got to do all this sort of stuff and is it going to work, is it not going to work. So having an input into how the patients were instructed and trained I think was very valuable as well. The, the team are looking at making quite a lot of improvements to the type of device, how the device works and, and how the device is used. So you know, I think that involvement of the patients has been absolutely critical because their feedback has really directed the team uh, to, to the next stage of, of, of the research. I really think this could help free up consultants to spend their time much more productively. So what we've been doing more recently with the Academic Health Science Network North East and North Cumbria and the CRN for this region is to look for other companies that may be wishing to help us design a more user-friendly uh, device that will still obtain the relevant results in an accurate and safe way but may be easier for unselected patients to use in a wider variety of clinical situations. 
it's really interesting to see how this journey has uh, evolved uh, and, and where we think it can go in the future. You know, I do think genuinely that there is an unmet need that we can deliver, um, and this has been a, a, a big step forwards.